the section formula. The essential cells from National 5 are working with fractions. The section formula can be used to divide a line in a given ratio. If the point P divides the line AB in the ratio MN, then we use this section formula here, where P is equal to N over M plus N of A plus M over N plus N of B. The key steps, we need to write out the section formula, identify M and N, insert values into the formula, find the components of vector P, and finally state the coordinates, if asked, of vector P. It should be noted that this formula is not given in your exam. Example 1. If the line joining A, 0, 5 and B, negative 3, 2 is divided in the ratio 2 to 1 by the point C, we need to find the coordinates of C. We will first write out our section formula and also state our ratio. Please note that the ratio is given M to N, therefore M has a value of 2 and N has a value of 1. This will help us when inserting these values into the formula. We then have 1 over 2 plus 1 of A, and A was 0, 5, plus 2 over 2 plus 1 of B, and B was negative 3, 2. Simplifying our fractions, we have 1 third of A plus 2 thirds of B. We then will multiply our fractions with our vectors. So 1 third multiplied by 0 is 0, and 1 third multiplied by 5 is 5 over 3. Plus 2 thirds multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6 over 3, and 2 thirds multiplied by 2 is 4 over 3. Adding these vectors together will give negative 6 over 3 and 9 over 3. This then cancels to negative 2, 3. This is in component form, but we were asked for the coordinates of C, so we must state the coordinates horizontally, so C is negative 2, 3. Example 2. P is the point negative 2, 4, negative 1, and R is the point 8, negative 1, 19. The point T divides PR in the ratio 2 to 3. Find the coordinates of T. Again, we'll start by writing out our formula in relation to the question and also state our ratio 2 to 3, M to N. This results in 3 over 2 plus 3 of P, which was negative 2, 4, negative 1. Add on 2 over 2 plus 3 of R, and R was 8, negative 1, 19. Simplifying the fractions will give us 3 fifths of P plus 2 fifths of R. The next step will be multiplying each vector by the fraction outside it. This will give us negative 6 over 5, 12 over 5, and negative 3 over 5 for 3 fifths of P, and 2 fifths of R becomes 16 over 5, negative 2 over 5, and 38 over 5. Combining these vectors together, we'll give an answer of 10 over 5, 10 over 5, and 35 over 5, which cancels nicely to 2, 2, 7. And again, we were asked for the coordinates of t, note the components. Therefore, t is 2, 2, 7, written horizontally. Example 3. The points p, 6, 1, minus 3, q, 8, negative 3, 1, and r, 9, negative 5, 3, are collinear. Find the ratio in which Q divides PR. 
since the points are collinear, the vector PQ is equal to K, a constant, multiplied by QR. Working with the first components, P to Q is Q minus P, which gives us 8 minus 6, is equal to a number multiplied by Q to R, which would be R minus Q. And if we look at the first components, 9 minus 8. This will give us 2 equals 1K, so K must be 2. Therefore, we can see that vector PQ is equal to 2 lots of vector QR. Therefore, Q divides PR in the ratio 2 to 1. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. The answer C has coordinates 17, 11, minus 9. If you would like extra work and practice, please try page 251, exercise 13K, questions 1 to 4. So what have we learned today? Today we've looked at the section formula. The key steps, write out the formula, identify M and N, insert the values, find the components of P, and then finally state the coordinates of P.